Mamaku was a very old historic railway village and quite a big sawmilling area. All the Mamaku area was widespread with bush railways and the mill at Mamaku is still the last remaining mill at Mamaku. It was a railway mill and processed a lot of timber to build all the railway houses around the region. They used to bring logs in from out and about the area. There were a lot of different timber companies up there, privately owned. The first sawmills at Marmaku were built from the early 1900s, when the railway eventually reached the area. And as there was a plentiful supply of native rimu trees, many mills were established. The only way of transporting the logs to the mills was by way of bush tramways, as this was in an era well before trucks were a viable alternative. From the early days, a number of steam locomotives that were surplus to New Zealand government railways were utilised along with some specially built bush locos. At one time, there was a number of sawmills with a vast network of logging tramways stretching into the bush in every direction. Principal among these was a sawmill acquired by the stores branch of the New Zealand Government Railways in 1916. They had a great need for timber to construct workers' houses throughout the country and timber from their Marmaku mill went a long way towards satisfying this need. As a consequence of all this activity, the railway yards at Marmaku became a busy hub from where the sawn timber was railed to all parts of the country. As time progressed and the old steam locomotives wore out, an ingenious local engineer was contracted to design and construct a number of special purpose motorised railway tractors. His name was Ollie Smith and his tractors and rail cars became synonymous with the bush tramways around the Mamaku Plateau. These were based around truck motors and components and successfully took up the task of hauling the logs out of the bush. Many of these survived to the end of the bush tramway era and are now preserved with at least one having been restored to an operational status. Mamaku had one of the last operational logging tramways in New Zealand and this facet was not lost on a number of rail enthusiasts. They raced from all parts of the country to capture the dying moments of what had been a part of a massive countrywide undertaking. Ian Tibbles of Greymouth was one of these, and his 8mm colour film footage shot in the late 1960s provides a lasting testament to the uniqueness of this operation. Running with their surplus railway carriage bogies to the site where the felled logs were loaded was easy going. However, the return trip could provide the drivers with a very different set of conditions. This was also in the days before the widespread use of bulldozers and to haul the logs to the loading site, a network of winch operated log haulers were employed. These locomotives were designed so that all their wheels would provide traction and the rear ones would have the added weight of logs on a return journey to improve the adhesion on the sometimes greasy rails.
The sole surviving sawmill in Marmaku was the final destination for these heavy native logs, and although still in existence, it now only mills exotic timbers. Thank you.